day all welcome back to cruising classics youtube channel today we have to present for your consideration this 1965 volkswagen beetle and it is a beautiful little bug if you're the type who enjoys the oem correct beetles you are gonna eat this one up this is really a nice little car uh paint job's been done within the last two years nice slick dark red uh, all, the, all the bright elements on the external have all been redone and are either redipped or new. They are in spectacular condition. This car gleams in the light. Hood, the center line, W logo. There is a lot of great stuff to see on here. What a well done bug. 1965 brought some important changes for the Volkswagen Bug. Uh, the windows were all made much larger, so they uh, shrank the pillars and enlarged the windows, especially the rear window. Visibility between a 64 and a 65, big difference. A 65 is like driving a car with the top down compared to driving a 64. It is way better in terms of visibility. So you've got the nice bright open window look, if you will, to it. Uh, some really nice wheel treatment. We've got silver steel wheels topped with the Volkswagen logo moons and beauty rings. Some Nankang white wall tires to go with it. Really nice period look. The running boards are nice and solid with new mats. Some nice edge trim. Again, trim work on the car as a whole is in very, very good condition. Very happy with all of this. You'll see if this has the old school style rear lights on it. Nice clear lenses on the front and back of the car. You'll see back here, the rear bumper looks just as fine as the front one. And underneath of it, got some chrome exhaust tips hiding out. This was one of the earlier years before they had the vented hood on the rear. Well, we're in the back here. We will go ahead and pop the bonnet, if you will, or that hides our engine. And underneath, a 1200 four-cylinder VW power plant. And we believe this engine to be original to the car. Uh, Volkswagen did not stamp their engines in a way that you could track it directly to the car, but you can do year by year. And this is a 1965 1200cc four-cylinder engine, single barrel carb. Uh, we can't prove it came from this car, but we do believe it is a matching engine and transmission we have here. No reason to believe otherwise. Well taken care of. Nice clean bay. And you'll see real shortly, runs like a little sewing machine back here. Not the fastest engine ever put in a car. Uh, about 40 horsepower on this one. Uh, it is faster than uh, than your typical go-kart or moped, but it's it's not a very fast car when you get down to it. They're fun to drive, the Volkswagen Bugs from this era, but they are not speed demons. I have already used the internal pole to be able to open the front. And you'll see, like the standard Beetles, the front t the tire sits in the front, the spare does, and this is a full bias ply spare uh, with the jack here. Um, and not as much room as Bugs got later on when you had the Super Beetles and the tire would lay flat up here and it was covered and you had a larger compartment. Uh, but it is all nice, it's well done, it's carpeted. You can throw yourself a suitcase and a little carry-on up here and head off to the airport for a trip. You'll see there you've got your filler tube. Back in 65, the interior pull for the front trunk is located to the left and down for the driver, whereas as you got into the 1970s, it was located as a lever in the glove box. 
Inside, we've got one really nice, well done VW. You can see here, nice looking door cards. Original style hardware. Yeah, and the driver's treated to a little map pocket. You'll see as we enter in, it does have an aftermarket sill plate uh, by EMPI. Uh, they make nice Volkswagen replacement parts and it looks good there. You'll notice real quickly while we're at the door, new weather stripping. And also on the inside, trim there as well. Really nicely done, Buck. These seats are fantastic. I can't wait to sit down in them again. They are more comfortable than most any Volkswagen seat I've sat in. They are really, really nice. And in the back, same thing. Lovely back seat. The back seat does fold down. And the carpeted area behind it is really nice. There's a lot of storage room back there with the back seat up. If you put the back seat down, there's a large cargo compartment to be had here. You'll see that large back window with all that increased visibility. And a nice tight white headliner. Some other features in the rear here. Uh, one rear passenger is treated to an ashtray. Both rear passengers are treated to a uh, assist handle and a little coat hook up there as well. Oh yeah, these seats are awesome. Really, really nice for VW seats. Um, rather spartan interior like you'll find in most bugs. This one has a really nice OEM steering wheel with horn ring and a cool Wolfsburg center on it. White shift lever and not a crack in that steering wheel. Very, very nice. Let's see our 90 mile an hour speedometer and God help you if you get to all the way up to 95, it took you a while driving this car. Um, fuel gauge beside it, working AM radio, and it will pull in stations. I pulled in a local AM station earlier today in it. We've got knobs for lights, knobs for the windshield wipers, which you'll see here are larger in 1965 than they were in 1964, and they did improve the motor that works them. Uh, it's a pressure-operated system. And it, although they're slow, they're not slow by VW standards. They were a lot slower in 64. Down underneath here, we have an ashtray and a working washer button. When you depress this, it squirts fluid up on the windshield. I'm not gonna do it, but I actually did do it earlier today as I wrote the description and made sure that it does work. Over here, you'll see the glove box with a passenger grab handle in case things get dicey out on the road and nice original owner's manual for it. Style all over on the dash is great. I love the white knobs. I love that little chrome strip that runs across and becomes part of the radio and the gauges. It's very, very nice. Gray carpet in good condition all around. You'll see a nice original looking VW shift boot there. An original knob with the pattern still on it. And between the seats, it's the old school VW heaters. They did improve the heater in 65 over 64, uh, though still no VW heater was ever all that great. E-brake does function as it should. And now, I'll fire this baby up. Give it two pumps, push in the clutch. And there she goes. Just a great looking little car. Now normally we get out at this point and brag about all the sounds coming out of the tailpipes. A VW, not exactly a barn burner of a car most of the time. This one's got a cute little putt-putt around the back. I'll pop the engine compartment open here and you can see it's just a good running little sewing chain of a VW engine. 1200 cc, all of 40 horses.
feel free to give us a call here at Cruising Classics in Columbus, Ohio. Our number is 614-276-7355. We're happy to answer any questions you may have. We're happy to help you with financing options. We can also help you get this car brought in an enclosed trailer to your home anywhere in the U.S. you might reside. Again, give us a call. Cruising Classics, Columbus, Ohio, 614-276-7355. We appreciate you joining us again today on our YouTube channel. We look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Have a good one.